Welcome back, everybody. This is going to be my Algebra 2 Linear Functions Lesson Number 5, Inverse of Linear Functions Home Review, Part 2, because I left this out. So sorry. You're know, picking up from question 7 in Linear Functions Graph Below. Answer the following questions based on the graph. So the first one is going to be write the equation of linear function in y equals mx plus b form. Well, to do this properly, we're going to need both the slope and the y-intercept. Now, the y-intercept is right over here, and we see in this case that's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So our y-intercept should be 6, because that's the y-value when x equals 0. Then we're going to find the slope, and we, the slope in this case, we need to go down 2, right 3. So negative 2 over 3, that's our slope because we're going down 2 and right 3. So if a slope is neg 2 thirds, our y is going to be 6. That means in this case we'll have y equals neg 2 over 3x plus 6. And that's part A. Now, if we're going to be sketching the inverse of this function, what we need to do is to draw the line y equals x and I think it looks something like this, where every x value is equal to the y value, y equals x, okay? All right, we'll label that y equals x, so here we go. And so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna reflect these points over this axis of this, this line of y equals x. Now, what we can do, if we want to, we can actually uh, list the coordinates and then from there be able to just switch x and y. So for example, let's see now, use a smaller font here, let's use 20, okay? And so this coordinate we have here is gonna be, uh, well, we know this one's, this, this value here is gonna be zero comma six. So zero comma six, all right, that's this point here, all right? And then the next point we have here is going to be, it looks like four, uh, three comma four, three comma four. And then this point here is going to be, it looks like six comma two. And then the next point here looks like, I believe in this case, 9 comma 0. Okay. And then, of course, this point down here will be, um, looks like 12 comma negative 2. And it makes sense because our slope is negative 2 thirds, then our x phi is going to the right by 3, and we see that the y value is going down by 2 every single time. And we go backwards, this coordinate here would mean we're going up by 2 and left by 3, so this should be negative 3, comma, in this case, 8. I get the comment. So why is it helpful to have these here? Well, the nice thing in this case about finding the inverse of functions, we're just switching x and y values. And so if we have a coordinate that's negative 3 comma 8, one coordinate we know for sure, which I'm going to post this in green, I guess, will be 8 comma neg 3. So it's you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, neg 3. So that's this point right over here. I guess let's make sure. Oh, it's off the chart there, so this will be right there somewhere. Okay, and then zero comma six becomes six comma zero. So that's one, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's this point here. Uh, three comma four becomes four comma three. Six comma two becomes two comma six. Two, four, six right here. And uh, 9 comma 0 becomes 0 comma 9, 6, 7, 8, 9. And finally, we have 12 comma neg 2 becomes neg 2 comma 12, 1, 2. And we know this is 9 array, 10, 11, 12. Okay. So we apply the points in green, and now we're going to draw a line here, passing through all these points. Okay, 
That should be okay, hopefully. Hopefully pretty okay. All right, I'll just stretch this out this way. Ooh. Just wanna make sure we got all those points here. Okay. And of course, you know, we'll just kind of re-graph everything in green. So it pops out, so you can get definitely get a look at this. Okay. All right. And so now we want to find the equation of this line, the inverse, in the form y equals mx plus b. Okay. Well, again, our y intercept here. Oops, wrong color. That looks like, in this case, uh, 0, 9. So the b value of the inverse will be 9. Okay. And our slope, we're going to go down 3, right 2. So it's minus 3, right 2. Our slope is going to be negative 3 over 2. So it's also negative. And so if we're using our y equals m plus b, we see in this case y is equal to neg 3 over 2 x plus b. Now I'm going to use negative y and negative 1 to really denote this as an inverse of the function. Finally, what is the intersection point of, the line, of this line with its inverse? Well, okay, so we have our inverse here. Oops, I didn't put the b value. It should be 9, sorry. Neg 3 over 2 x plus 9. Okay. And so now we know it should be on line y equals x. So we're going to set them both equal to each other. So you're saying, okay, well, how do we find that now? Well, we're going to set the two, neg 2 thirds x plus 6. All right, so we're going to set neg 2 thirds x plus 6 equal to neg 3 over 2 x plus 9. Because technically, the inverse and the y value should be the same value at this point here. And this point is can't be determined from the graph. We definitely know it's greater than 3, but less than 4. But we solve now for x, and then we'll solve for the matching y value, which should technically be the same value. Now, we have fractions. And one fraction has a denominator 3, another fraction has a denominator 2, we're going to multiply by everything by the least common multiple, which is going to be 6. And distribute. So neg 2 thirds times 6 will be negative 4. Six, uh, so negative 4x plus 6, uh, plus 6 times 6 is 36. Neg 3 over 2 times 6 will give us neg 9x plus 54. And when we solve this, we're going to add 9x to both sides. We'll get 5x plus 36 is equal to 54. We're going to subtract both sides by 36. And we'll get 5x equals, well, let's see now. That becomes a 4, carry down to 1, that's 8, 18. We divide both sides by 5 x is equal to, now, 5 goes 18 3 times with the remainder of 3. So that would be in this case 3 fifths or 0.6. That's our x value. Now, we'll pop this into, well, well we pop this into our, uh, our y value, but the key thing is this. Uh, this y value will have the same exact value as x value. Well, how do we know that? The point intersection lies on the line y equals x. So yeah, we can plug that back in. We're still going to have 3.6 for y. So the point of intersection for a line and for this line as inverse will be 3.6 comma 3.6. And to be honest, any linear function and its inverse will end up intersecting and on the point uh, as a point on the line y equals x. And so both x and y will be the same exact value. Okay. So this is going to be this full page here. This will be the end of part two, which is question number seven, which is a pretty serious question here. All right. Uh, I hope you guys uh, have found this helpful. If you did, please give it a like and, you know, subscribe to the channel. Leave comments and questions below. We'll love to hear any questions you have or comments on how to make this videos, our videos better, like 
basically finishing them <laughs> that'd be helpful all right and if you have not subscribed already please do so and turn on notifications so let be notified when new videos or videos that should be out there are placed onto our channel thanks so much for watching and i look forward to our next video which will be covering the rest of this <laughs> the rest of this review all right take care and be safe